Okay, this will be an interesting one. I can hear the cicadas cartering away. Or not cartering. I, I like to say that. I like to say I, I hear the cicadas are cartering away. Actually, we're going to make this go here. You can just hear them in the background. And that scanner just made a terrible noise. Sorry about the shaking. I can't help it, folks. Yeah, they are beautiful creatures, cicadas. They never seem to be in... Oh, actually, they have been in short supply before. We've had years when we hardly heard them. But normally they're everywhere during the summer break in Oz, Australia. And they are beautiful. And they come in so many different colours, although there's more Black Prince cicadas than other ones I have noticed, or the little tiny ones called whiskies, which are also black. Anyway, we're photocopying this. It's, a, it's a, an anklet. So, yeah, I used to call anklets barefoot bands because people in bare feet used to seem to wear them quite a bit. So I just call them barefoot bands. I used to love going barefoot when I was, a, when I was little or when I was a kid or a teenager. And I used to, oh yeah, I used to love going barefoot. You know, it drove my parents bonkers because they always worried about me hurting myself. Um, but I really loved going barefoot. It was my one of my favourite things. Um, and I just hated having to uh, wear shoes or thongs or anything. And I spent a lot of years just wanting, just enjoying going barefoot. I think I stopped going barefoot in my uh, mid-teens. I sort of got developed a sensitivity to dust on my toes, like that gritty feeling. This photocopy is misbehaving. Oh, I think I know what I did. I accidentally pressed something I didn't want to press. Yeah, glossy. Thought so. Stupid fucking dumbass system. Konica Minolta shit. That looks interesting, uh, but basically I stopped going barefoot because I just felt uncomfortable with the grittiness of the, of the having touched the dirt on the ground, so I don't like getting my feet dirty now, uh, it's just something that I developed later in life to stop wanting to go barefoot. It just, I just lost an interest in it, so. We're just gonna reprint that. But it's very easy to bump things on the screen of this equipment sometimes. It's really annoying. And you can see that the design wasn't well thought out by the manufacturer, Konica Minolta. So you get the feeling that that it's not really well designed. Wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. But yeah, you just get the feeling that the people who design these equipments doesn't have any idea how to do it or any desire to do it right. Uh, it really is annoying the way that the industry has gone, that it's all about profiteering and making it an obscene amount of money over and above trying to design something that really, really works well and makes people happy. It's not a very... It's not very flattering for the company, Konica Minolta, but it's their fucking problem. They want to 
profiteer over, over and above doing what's right by the human race and the environment, well, they're going to get people like me scourging them. And I really hate Conica. I hate their shit. I hate the way the company cares only about money. So I'm really angry at them, folks. But, you know, we have to fucking, I don't know, work with what they've got. Try to work with what they've got, even though it, it's not. I'm trying to get my work here on television so I can find my lost partner, Luigi. And it's just proven to be more difficult than expected. It's really difficult trying to trying to get my stuff to go to air. I'm trying to make my work really well presented and that. It, it doesn't always come off the way that I want it to. Sometimes I do make errors. Sometimes I do, don't do things quite as well as I should. But this is me, you know, this is what I do. Uh, like it or not, you know, this is what I like. This is who I am at this stage in my life. And I really want to make a difference, folks, one day. Let's see how we go with this. But yeah, I used to call anklets barefoot bands. They do look good when you're barefoot, without the socks or without the shoes. Although most of the anklets I dealt with when I was a kid were mostly chains, not pieces of string or, or this kind of string. Um, but basically, yeah, I really used to love going barefoot and the anklet just reminds me of bare feet. The whole barefoot thing. A lot of people like going barefoot. Actually, not these days, I've noticed. I've actually noticed people don't tend to go barefoot very often these days, which is really odd. But they don't. Except maybe on the beach or wherever. This is not in properly. Anyway, that looks really quite interesting, I think, now. We can call it quits.